Hello, how's it going? Today we're with the Riggy Synthi. Currently the Riggy Synthi is with the uh, Wireless World uh, synthesizer, the Titan synth, the Digisound 80 and the Formant synthesizer. And these are kind of bunged into the side of the telephone, telephone exchange room. It's a very, um, it's a very temporary thing. Um, was gonna be rebuilding this room in a few months back, but waiting to see what happens on a couple of little things before we kind of get on with that because this uh, there's going to be a room that's more dedicated to um, you know celebrating DIY synthesizer stuff and such but need to sort it out so it's got a cover over the top of the patch matrix uh, this stops people from rearranging it uh, because it's there's so many instances that it just won't make noise and nine times out of ten uh, with with uh, with displaying these things in the in the museum I found it's best to give less access to things that go funky because the more that like some people know what how to get sound out of it but a lot of people don't and then they come along and nine times out of ten it isn't making sound uh, and then you know they leave being like oh that's that's a bit crap so reducing the amount of adjustments for you know display and you know example purposes is good i have some example patches drawn out on other synthesizers. Very rarely seen people follow them. So sometimes it's best just to give them a taster of what it is. So this patch matrix right here, um, I've just taken the cover off. Um, uh, right now it's making some sounds. This is the same setup as it was in the Birmingham NEC Maker Central, which it was at the uh, other day. So here we go. So yeah, right now it's only really functioning on the joystick. As you know, there is a keyboard underneath. What I'm gonna try and do today is just um, fun of work out a thing, a, a, a simple setup that involves a joystick, much like this setup already, but also kind of try and involve the keys a little bit. Not, I don't think in a particularly musical manner because the musical um, VCOs, that, that needs another little bit of a look in on the keyboard and that'll happen when we do the Practical Electronics PE keyboard. So let's have a look and see if we can get um, another filter plugged in and maybe figure out the trigger output of the keyboard and wire that into the trapezoid generator. So when you hit the keys, maybe, this, maybe the sequencer comes out or maybe even we get the, we get the notes coming out of the VCO. So we're just gonna, gonna figure it out now. Let's, uh, Let's have a look see, shall we? I'm just gonna unplug it for now. So that's the reverb. I wonder if we can make something that happens at the same time as that. So maybe we just leave this patch set up and then try and get the keyboards to just um, come out. So. Keyboard one oscillator. Let's see if we can get. We got a problem with the keyboard. Right, so the keyboard is coming out now. So we've got the output of the keyboard. So what we're gonna try and do is get the keyboard, keyboard one output, and we're gonna plug it into, try and get it going through a V, a filter, so let's get a s uh, keyboard two as well. That's kind of, well, it's, it's the most we're gonna get. So we're gonna get the output of keyboard one and two. We're gonna get it into the keyboard one and, oh my God. Keyboard one and two into, this is trying to follow this, um, the output of the filter, Filter F, which is filter freak, no, filter sequencer, signal. And then we get the output of the filter into here. There we go. So, we've got the output of the keyboard oscillators. 
going into one of the filters. Maybe we'll get the output of that going into the reverb as well. So the output of the filter goes into the mix, the signal. Turn and turn these down. And then the, we've got these other two sounds, this one. We're going to get these going through the other filter. It's, it's quite finickety to do. So we've got going into the filter and then we're going to bring that out, filter one into the reverb. Try this. Okay, so we've got, now if we bring, Figure out why this isn't coming out. Huh? Oh, because I unwired the joystick from the FM input. Sounds like a dog's dinner, but we're getting there, we're getting close. So we've got a little bit of that. Now we're gonna try and figure out how to get the actual, there's some keyboard envelopes. I haven't actually tested these yet. So on the front there's attack and decay, but see if we can get the keyboard, keyboard gate out. Let's try and trigger the filter. So the output of the keyboard envelope into filter F, O, O. Oh! oh. Oh, it sounds a bit funky, but. Now add this frequency knob, try and get that on the joystick as well. Um, filter F. Uh, up and down. There we go, sort of there. Oh, that's nice, that, whatever that is. There's, it's, it's coming, there's a little bit of... I didn't clean these potentiometers, this might be down to the fact that the keyboard needs a looking at still. Well, it's getting a little bit closer, so this is what we're gonna leave it in for a little bit before we get to look at this and the practical electronics keyboard because yeah, this all works. This isn't this isn't amazing the keyboard, it needs a looking at, which we haven't done yet. So if you come along for the next um few weeks, likely the pin matrix is gonna be doing something like that. So you can hit the keyboard, make some funky sounds, and also play with the joystick controller. So yeah, that is um, what we're going to do with the Riggy Symphony for the next little while. And if anybody wants to come along and try and make a better patch, then be my guest. But maybe that's best to wait until 
uh, I get looking and fixing the keyboard a little bit more. But, you know, the opportunity is always there. If you come along, all you need to do is talk to somebody who's here at the museum who's got a screwdriver and, you know, will allow you to do that. As long as you know what you're doing a little bit, then have a go. But, yeah, there's the Riggy Symphony as it is. So ultimately this room is going to change quite a chunk. The, uh, the Shrouder Exchange is going to go along the whole side of it because we've got a few more racks of this. And then the keyboards that are shoehorned, the Formant, which is going to be larger soon, the Digisound 80, the Wireless World and the Riggy Symphony, they're all going to go over into a room uh, over that way, along with all of the other DIY synthesizers like the Powertran, the Transcendent and a bunch of others. But yeah, I hope everything's all right and uh, have a lovely, have a lovely time. Toodly-doo!